Welcome to this episode of uh, Burton's Outdoor Gear. Uh, this week we're going to take a look at uh, four different variations of backcountry cooking stoves and uh, a little bit of uh, pros and cons of each one. Alright, welcome back. So before we get started, uh, I'm the host, Daniel Burton, and this is my co-host, Graham Burton, my brother here. And the first stove we're going to talk about today is called the. Uh, this is called the MSR MSR Dragonfly, and this stove, as you can see, comes in pot, this pot, steel pot, and it, it compacts fairly fairly small, uh, which spread out, opened up. This is what the stove looks like. So, this stove is what we call a white gas, a compressed white gas stove. And what that means is it runs off of a gas, a gasoline, is what it is designed to run off of. This particular stove can also run off of uh, diesel, kerosene, jet fluid, uh, water, jet, um, jet oil, washer fluid. Um, if it's flammable, it will burn it. So if you're going on uh, expeditions around the world, say uh, Mount Everest, this is an excellent stove to take. And so I'm going to fire this stove and uh, you, let, you let some gas in there. And then you light it. And the gas will flame up and stuff like that. And what this does is it warms up the orifice because when it burns, it needs to vaporize the gas. And so, it needs to heat the orifice up. Because if I turn it on right now, you know, we're just getting started again. Pressurize the bottle. It makes a very distinctive jet type noise. It is a loud stove. And as you see, as it heats up, this uh, bell around the, the orifice here is going to get uh, red hot. If you watch. So let that go. Very distinctive noise. If you want for quiet, this isn't your stove. But if you're like a person that likes fine control, likes to cook fine meals out in the backcountry, this is your stove for you. It'll heat up a lot of water uh, really fast. This is my personal favorite stove. It is a slightly more expensive stove, but it is worth it. And like I said, you can take this stove anywhere in the world and you can burn pretty much anything. So that is the MSR Dragonfly. All right, so our next stove we're going to talk about tonight is a small, smaller stove. This stove is the Snow Peak Gigapower stove. And unlike the Dragonfly, which I just talked about, um, this stove is a isobutane canister stove. And there are several advantages um, of an isobutane canister stove. I mean, for one, let's just compare it in size to the Dragonfly here. This is what you're carrying with the Snow Peak, and this is what you're carrying with the Dragonfly. Definite size advantage, and if you're a microgram counter backpacking, um, you definitely want to go with one of these. Several disadvantages compared to the Dragonfly, though. This canister, here in the United States, they're easy to find. Go around the world, these can be extremely difficult to find. This is a pretty much specific United States and Canada stove. Um, also, cold weather. These do not like the cold weather. They, because since there's no way to pressurize it, like on the Dragonfly, um, it has to run off the pressure that's in the can, and during the cold, when it's cold, the propane, isobutane propane, will um, will shrink. It won't be as pressurized. It won't be able to get a good flight. Also, high altitude. So around here, if you're up north by Silverton, up in the Wanamanooch, um, backpacking. This stove at higher altitudes can get uh, bogged down. Um, 
with some advantages though. As you saw the dragonfly, it took quite a bit to get it started. And I'm going to start uh, the flame really quick. Start this stove for you. And there you go. Turn it down a little bit, let it get a little heated up. And there you go, this stove is started. Very, if you want a quick meal, say you're in camp and you don't want to dig out the dragonfly or one of your bigger stoves, this is perfect. It puts out some big BTUs, not quite as much as the dragonfly will, since it's a smaller stove. But it definitely will uh, boil some water pretty quick. Um, another thing good about this, not so good about this stove is it can get, a, when you have a big pot on here that's full of water, um, it can get a little top heavy, which isn't good and stuff might spill. Um, advantages, like you said, see these starting to glow red here, but um, yeah, this is still Sorry good. about that, the uh, storage ran out of my other device, so we're back now. I believe I was talking about uh, there's different variations of this uh, this type of stove, the isobutane canister stove. Um, here's another example, example one, this is my personal one. Um, this actually is his personal one. But these stoves in the United States, easy to come by. If you're just, they are also another advantage is, whereas the Whisper Light costs about $150. Um, this one, this one I got cost me $30. I think this one cost $40. Uh, these are a lot cheaper, so your person is just going out for the weekends, just needs one, not too worried about going international, stuff like that. Just a little, little amount of water being boiled. Um, this is definitely uh, the way to go with uh, these canisters. Alright, so the next stove we're going to talk about here is another one by uh, MSR. Um, MSR, they've been around for about 40 years, and there's a quick history on them. They're my personal favorite for stoves. They make pretty much the best stoves in the industry that you can get. It's uh, MSR stoves, in my opinion. So this is the next stove we're going to talk about. It's called, this is the Whisper Light. There's three variations of this stove that MSR makes. There's this one, the Whisper Light, the Whisper Light International, that like the Dragonfly that I talked about earlier, can be able to burn jet fuel, diesel, kerosene, all kinds of other stuff. And then they have a new one that they just came out with called the Whisper Light Universal. And not only will it burn uh, jet fuel, diesel, white gas, kerosene, but it'll also burn the canisters from the canister stove. So you can, no matter where you are in the world, you can either use canisters, you can use um, any food you want, essentially. So uh, this one is a very popular stove here in America, a very common stove. So uh, we're going to fire this one up for you. Again, like the Dragonfly, this one is a pressurized white gas stove. This one is only white gas. You cannot use anything but white gas in this stove. It also, this one is pretty much like the, the Dragonfly, you can, the flame is a lot more adjustable. This one's pretty much on or, an on or off stove. So, yeah, like you can see the Dragonfly has a control knob here. This just has the control knob uh, here. So that's uh, in. Give her a couple of pumps. Pump this thing up. Another thing I forgot, I'm going to talk about really quick that's nice with um, these type of stoves is these things, heat shields. Um, this is one for the drag flight. You place it underneath and then this wraps around the stove so it boils water um, much, much faster than if you would. You don't have wind coming in, um, stuff like that. So that's a little bit about these. Those are very good to have. You can get them for the other stoves, but Um, they're just harder to come by. They're not as a... Again, like the Dragonfly, this one you have to burn off the stuff. A 
that burn off. Got a little, uh, a little much gas in there. Okay, so I got a little much gas in this one. Let that uh, all burn off. There we go. Open it up. There we go. This stove, they call it the whisper light for a reason. This is a very, very quiet stove. Um, this stove um, has a lot of advantages of the dragonfly, pressurized, high altitude, cold weather. It works great. Um, quieter, so if you're one of the, if you're a person that likes to just have quiet and enjoy the, the noise of nature, the, this is definitely a stove for you. This is, you'd think that this stove, being a smaller stove, would be um, lighter than the Dragonfly, and it is, but only by two, two and a half ounces, if I remember right. So, um, yeah, this one's mainly uh, boiling water. The flame's not quite as adjustable. So, yeah, this is the Whisper Light. All right, so the last stove we're going to talk about is this stove. This one is made by Snow Peak currently. This is the this is the Savea. Originally made in Sweden and stuff. This stove is the pioneer of the stove that we saw. This stove originally came out in 1896. Is when this stove originally came out. And now, more than 110 years later, they're still making this stove. You can still buy it. This is actually my dad's stove. When he was a kid. He was not my age. Um, this stove. Nowadays, it's something more that you have just for fun. It's if you're gonna do um, like again, this is more like a canister stove. If you're gonna do just weekend stuff because it is a finicky stove. That's why it was already lit, lit, and um, came. Um, it's, a, it's similar. It's a combination of both of the other. Ones. It's got the bell and orifice and stuff from the dragonfly. It uses the white gas, like the whisper light, but it has the shape and stuff of the the isobutane. This one, you put the whisk, you put the gas in here, and you pressurize it. Now, my, my dad got this a little pump to go with it. Uh, originally, he didn't have this. This pump that goes with it. Um, let's see if I can get it. You'll be able to see it going full blast. It makes a similar sound. To the dragonfly, though. So um, how it works is this: we we'll go over this, and you got your pot stands here, and it all folds up inside itself. It's um, for how old it is, over 100 years old. It's still it's still a very good stove. So um, that's it. That's the Savea. So the pioneer of that country cooking stove. All right. So the last thing I want to talk about is some different things you're going to cook with these stoves. Um, the most common thing you do with these stoves, with their different variations, the most common thing you're going to do is boil water so you can make one of these. This is a dehydrated meal. What you, this one particular one is biscuits and gravy. And this one won't do this one. You have to cook in a pan and stuff like that. A little more complex and stuff. But what you do with the, uh, the dehydrated meal is you open the top, pour in the boiling, um, cup of cup, however many cups of boiling water it says, close it and let it sit and then it, you shake it up and then it mixes it and it cooks the stuff. A long time ago, they used to be just absolutely, they were horrible. Nowadays, they're really good. Uh, my favorite one is uh, Sweet and Sour Chicken by uh, Blackpackers The Pantry. Um, some people can get, some people get really, really advanced. They'll make blueberry pies and little ovens that you can get to set on the stoves. Um, another common dish is ramen, boiling water with ramen. The most common dish is just boiling water and adding it to some something instant, instant oatmeal, ramen. These these come in breakfasts, lunch, dinners, uh, desserts. Desserts are very good. Um, these are very good. So that's some of the things you can uh, eat with these stoves. All right. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been a comparison of four different stoves: the MSR Dragonfly, Snow Peak Giga Power, the MSR Whisper Light, and the Savea. I hope you uh, enjoyed this, and I hope you learned something. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good day.